Hello and welcome to Let's Play Moirai 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that um, I was told that this is a kind of horror-ish game but that it doesn't have jump scares I'm holding you accountable to that Okay Um there's people. How do I talk to priest with the space bar? Oh, okay. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen at all day. Oh. Maybe she's sleeping. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. Okay. Can I go to the other houses? Oh, I can! Is that supposed to be a bed? <laughs> it's a flat bed! It looks like uh, a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Okay. Can I do something else? All of their furniture is flat. That's amazing. I could have so much more room if all my stuff was flat. Hello. I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. There's... There's not supposed to be ghosts. I swear if you lied to me, I will find you. Need to stay close to mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. Yeah, that's that's a good boy. Stay close to your mama. Hello? Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in a cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. Boys? But you only have one with you. Is that a boy? No, that's a girl. Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Yeah. Hello. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. That's good. I love the flat furniture. That's just that's so great. <laughs> Must be hard to use though. Unless maybe the pull out. Look, oh, I can look at this one? There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Is that a nightstand? I can't touch it. Leave cabin. Wait, wasn't, wasn't this the cabin I was supposed to... to the farm? I, I didn't see the person. Julia is not home. Maybe she is out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. Okay. Why isn't everyone looking for this missing person? Like, we could find her so much faster if everyone just got off their asses and helped. Redesign farm. I guess I'm there already. Sheep! The sheepies! <laughs> Poke the sheep? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of sheep. I must poke every one of them. For they are fluffy. <coughs> fluffy things must be poked <coughs> at least once in their life. <coughs> Me. <Meh. coughs> can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, it's locked. 
Maybe I need to find a key. There's not a lot of places I can go. To the cave. Why would I need a lantern? My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have he should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on the stump. Okay. Picked up the lantern. Okay. Okay. Uh Hey you, come over here. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's not good. You should take this knife. Who knows, you may need it. Okay. What's that? Is that a rat? Why is there a rat in a corner? Go ahead, I can't see. Then why are you in here? I don't like this. Reminds me of... What was it, Doom? No, not Doom. It was some kind of... Dungeon crawler. What is this? There's a book on top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Sergio, Blaze, Chromax, Sarkin, dot dot dot, how eerie. What's that? There are some tools leaning, leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. Why? Is that how many people have been here? That's creepy. Good, you're still there. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they are a child's. Oh. What the? I don't want to go there. Do I? I don't think I do. You still there? Yes, okay. <sighs> uh, um, a farmer approaches. blood on your overalls because I was on my period why do you have a knife because I am cosplaying as Jeff the farmer I mean killer I heard moans what have you done none of your business
This is clearly written by a person that's not part of the game world. Um, so if this is a another player, can they kill me? I guess I'll let them pass? I, I mean, I haven't seen a way to attack with knife, so... Okay. Shit. Erg, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust us. He buried the gold nugget to spite me. Oh, and that's not a good idea. He could have just not let you end all the money if he doesn't trust you with it. Then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make things better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him. But I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? She's already bleeding. But she's still alive. Uh, I'm going to get help. Then leave me, you coward. Woman spurts blood at you. Oh, crap. Diseases. I'm gonna get the... Farmer approaches. Do you have a blood? Why do you have blood on your overalls? Oh. Uh, um. get help. There is a woman back there. She tried to kill herself. She is hurt. We must go get help. Why do you have a knife? Who gave me the knife? It was a... The lumberjack gave it to me for protection. The Caves are scary. I heard moans. What have you done? I refuse to kill the woman. She is badly hurt, though. We must go get help. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Enter your first name.
Enter your email address. Oh, uh. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. And that was Let's Play Morai. This, this game. <laughs> I'll let you know if I get uh, any update on the situation about what happened to my character in the game. So yeah, it was actually pretty interesting. It's an interesting way to have the players interact without actually having them play together. I'm looking forward to the, <laughs> the conclusion to this tale. Thank you for watching! If you want to keep up with updates, you can subscribe! And if you want to check out the game I was playing, there should be a link in the description below. Thank you and see ya!